Hello, welcome back to my tech fam. My name is Igor and uh, Polymaker gave me very big homework again because a few months ago I tested all their Polylite and Polymax filaments and now, well, I have two big boxes full of filaments. Just quickly to show you what can you expect in the future. So this is a PCABS. According to the website, uh, this filament requires 80 degrees uh, heated enclosure. Now, I have only passive enclosures, uh, which means uh, they are heated by the printer bed and the nozzle. And uh, on summer, I can reach 50 to 53 degrees Celsius. On winter, uh, maybe 46, 47. So if I will be able to print this filament, there will be a video with uh, all those mechanical tests. If not, I will just create a post uh, on the YouTube that uh, passive enclosure is not enough for, to print with this filament. These two are ABS filaments and the Polymaker uh, decided to donate this to me to have my new Voron which I am building currently in their colors. So this is the black and this is the Polymaker teal color. And I like their uh, ABS filaments uh, because they, they have the average strength but they don't have that smell, ABS smell during the printing. These are Polytera PLA and Polytera PLA Plus. And here I will also do all those mechanical testings uh, to see what is actually the difference between these two. And also here I think it is important to measure somehow how easy it is to remove the supports. Uh, these filaments are Polylite PLA, PLA Pro and PLA Carbon Fiber. Uh, with these three filaments they will be also presented in a separate video. I will do all those mechanical testings to see what is the difference in the strength between these three filaments. I think all other filaments are mostly for aesthetic look. Here we have the transparent PETG. I'm curious uh, how transparent we can make this object because recently I tested some transparent PETG I got very interesting results. These four will also be presented in a separate video. Mm, silk magenta, uh, glowing dark uh, in a green color. It is important to know that a glowing dark filament requires hardened nozzles. This is wood and uh, gold uh, polylite filaments. And these two filaments will be presented in this video. These are the temperature column charge uh, purple or pink filament. And the other is UV color change natural and orange filament. For those filaments which are for the aesthetic looks only, I will not do all those mechanical testing, only a few prints for aesthetic looks. Of course, very important I think is to do the layer adhesion test. And with this I am curious uh, is the heat diffraction temperature around 50-55 degrees Celsius because uh, this color change uh, filament may be interesting to have some kind of warning so if we can see almost white color then it is above 45 degrees Celsius and this means maybe that we have to move that object from sun or, or maybe to some cooler place. So let's start with unboxing of these two filaments and start with the printing. Pay attention, this size is longer but it has don't open from this side because we have to open here above the ceiling line. Typical cardboard spool, so pay attention that you will have more friction on this spool compared to the plastic versions. I really like this information which Polymaker put on their spools. Here we can see in grams how much filament we have on the spool. And here there are basic informations about printing at bed temperature and uh, part cooling. Everything will be printed on Ender 3 S1 CD printer. And of course, during the extruding, it's in white color, and then it will get back this purple. The start is good. And interesting colors we can see here, but something what I expected. So on the bottom, it is heated by the heating plate 60 degrees Celsius, so that's why it is in white color. And on the top, it is uh, just printed, so from the nozzle until it doesn't cool down to, let's say, 30 or 25 degrees Celsius. This is also white, and in the middle it is uh, purple. Bridging with PLA is not a problem. Printing is finished and I want to create some time lapse of the cooling. And this is speed up video, a time lapse of approximately 10 minutes. Interesting, the top is uh, cooled down, only the bed is still hot. Printing is without any kind of problems, as with the regular PLA, absolutely no stringing, maybe just a little bit on higher printing temperature, but the overhang and the bridging came out perfectly, so I will print all test objects on 220 degrees Celsius. 
And these are the test objects for the layer attention and the temperature tests. Printing is almost finished and it is interesting to follow the color changes. So approximately 5 or 6 millimeters is heated by the bed. So keep this in mind next time you print ABS without enclosure. So probably objects smaller than 10 millimeters shouldn't be the problem. And this is the color when it completely cools down. It is interesting to see the color transition only in less than a minute. Cute bootha from Tingerbras just for testing uh, printing a toy to see the aesthetic looks. This is a board printed in spiral rays mode and it will be a toy for our youngest daughter and uh, with this we can follow the temperature of the bath water. And let's take a closer look, so it has this very nice, uh, almost shiny surface and I notice it's a little bit transparent, so uh, I have only two walls and uh, partly I can see the infill lines uh, inside. And this is that boat, as you can see it is partly transparent here, we can see because it is, has only one wall thickness. The temperature of this water is 27 degrees Celsius. And of this one, 36. No big changes here, just a minimal, because this is almost room temperature. Uh, let's check this one. Immediately I can see a lighter color. So if we use it for the bed for the kid, we know that this color is good and when it's near this purple color, then it's too cold. And now UV color change filament. The default is white color. And I'm printing the same temperature tower. And the first look, uh, it looks okay on every element so far. And this temperature tower looks great too on any temperature element. And I will print everything uh, using the same G code on 220 degrees Celsius. Two types of test objects. A cute Buddha. And a floating boat. Well, it's winter here and almost I have no sun here, just a minimal. Let's see if I can record some color changes. Until I was recording the intro about the sun, it already started with the changing the color to orange because it was completely white. And after five minutes, uh, this side is completely orange. As you can see on the back side, it is white. So even this uh, low sun on the winter is enough to change the color to the orange from the white. But it's a little bit transparent, so keep this in mind. It has two walls and we can see the infill lines. And the boat is quite transparent, only one wall thickness, so it is very equal from any side. No surprises on this temperature test, like all other regular PLA filaments, both started with deformation at approximately 50 degrees Celsius. This means if we see a white color on this color changing PLA, it's the best time to move it to the colder place. And for the feeling like a regular PLA. And now let's see the cooling time lapse. Just for reference, in the background you can see an analog clock. And this is a time lapse of approximately 10 minutes. I noticed that sometimes these special additives to regular filaments results a weaker layer adhesion. That's why I want to test it even with these filaments which are mostly for aesthetic printing. 
Everything about 20 kg brake load with this size of the test objects is acceptable for me. So the layer adhesion of these filaments is extremely good. And what I'm missing here is the information what type of the PLA is on the spool. I have a final thoughts about these filaments. Well, the printability is great like with any other PLA filaments from the Polymaker. Uh, to be honest, for the UV color changing filament, I don't know really practical application for it, except maybe toy for kids and it's interesting to them when it goes out to the sun, if the color change from white to orange. But these temperature color changing filament are really interesting, even if you want to learn something about CD printing, to see the color changes inside the hot end, or maybe to see the bad heating temperature, how it goes up, or maybe to see the cooling of the object during the printing. And a practical application for this is, for example, toy for the bed. And we, if we see that the color changes from white to purple, then it's uh, time for the kid to go out of the water because it's too cold. If you have some, any other idea for this uh, kind of filaments, then you know, fill us in the comment section. Thank you for watching and happy printing!